A spate of unexpected bad news shaped the outcomes of world financial markets overnight. Starting first with the lucky country, Australia. Australia posted an unexpected trade deficit for the month of March of around 480 million Australian. This contrasted with analyst expectations of 1.1 billion surplus. The difference has actually put down to the slowdown in the Chinese economy and potentially shows humanity's desire to eat rather than to build. Looking at the rest of the world, bond yields in Spain blew out based on general pessimism around the, the strength of the Spanish economy. Those yield blowouts also included the Italian bonds, which also were significantly higher than they have been in past days. In the US, the US Fed basically said that it was not considering any further quantitative easing for the near future, and this also put something of a pall over markets. In particular, looking at the Dow, the Dow was off more than 120 points, and that was also followed by most European markets down roughly 2% across the board. Local markets, the Australian and New Zealand markets, were closed by the time most of this news came through and were relatively flat. Looking at currencies, a similar story. Again, a flight away from the commodity-based currencies to safe currencies, with the Kiwi down against both the US and the Japanese currencies. It was up against the Australian, although the Australian slipped against most of its major trading partners. Over the last couple of days, we've talked a bit about the importance of food security, in particular in relation to Fonterra's desire to keep control over its milk production, and also in terms of the pink slime scandal which has erupted in the US. It's extremely important for a country, particularly an exporting country, to maintain that food security. If we look, for example, in the 1990s in terms of the outbreak of BSE in the UK, that outbreak is expected to have cost the British economy something like six and a half billion pounds over about four years. The US also hasn't been immune from BSE. In 2002, there were outbreaks of BSE in the US and that had significant implications for its exports to Japan, some of which, in terms of restrictions, have only just been resolved now. The USDA anticipates that the cost of those restrictions cost the US farmers around $3 billion per annum in exports. There's no doubt about it, food security is an extremely important topic. But for New Zealand, it's probably even more important than for most on the basis of the fact that we do trade on our clean green image.